Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Uh, today I have a huge, huge Dollar Tree haul um, along with a little bit of Hobby Lobby, a little bit of Valentine's stuff, a little bit of everything. Um, I wanted to share with you first um, a little bit about myself. Uh, so I am a mother of two uh, gorgeous young men. Uh, they don't like being called kids anymore. Um, and I also have a um, beautiful dog. Her name is Skylar. And two cats, uh, Hunter and Julian, who if you look over my right shoulder, you can see part of him. Um, so they may be swinging by from time to time, um, and I do apologize if they get in the way. Um, so anyway, that's a bit about me, and uh, let's get started. So first of all, at uh, Hobby Lobby, I got these uh, hearts, box of hearts. Uh, they're mini hearts. There were 54 of them. As you can see, I've already dug into them, but I wanted to share that with you. Um, they're probably on sale now uh, because they're getting ready for Easter at this point. So um, yeah, I thought they were cute. Um, and then um, I got some of the beaded garland from Hobby Lobby as well. Uh, this one is like red and sparkly. I thought it was very cute. So I figured I would go ahead and get that. Um, that I think is pretty much it from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I'll jump into a little bit of the Valentine's that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, so I got, again, some berries that Skylar is running off with. Um, I got the white, I got a purple, and I got a pink. And I thought they were very, very pretty. I hope they come out with some more for uh, Easter and spring. Um, that it's always fun to craft with. Um, and then I got this gorgeous basket. Um, I thought it was really pretty. Um, very festive uh, so that's what I've actually been storing my berries in uh, so yeah there's that and then let's see what else I got I found these candle holders it had the little wooden love sign on it um, I found it in pink I found it in the purple. I also found it in the clear, uh, but I made a candle out of it with some red wax. Um, and I just kept the heart as is because I like that natural wood look. Um, so yeah, I thought those were really pretty. That's pretty much it for Valentine's Day stuff, I believe. Um, so I'm just going to go in with some of my favorite things. I saw at Dollar Tree, one of the Dollar Trees that I went to, I go to several as I'm sure most of you do. Um, and I found these beautiful floral arrangements. Aren't they gorgeous? I just, I can't. I just can't. They're so beautiful. And I also found the white diversion. Uh, so I ended up with two of the red and one of the white that I will uh, be using in some of my crafts at some point. Um, and then I also got the roses that everybody's been talking about. So I'm sure you've seen these a million times, but I'll show you a million and one. So I got the yellow and the purple and the pink. 
And they, guys, these are so gorgeous. If you haven't seen them yet, you really, really should keep an eye on them. They're like a, a hard plastic, almost. Not a hard plastic, kind of a flexible plastic, but so gorgeous. Um, and they'll go great in your spring um, arrangements. And, and then I just found these purple, which are one of my favorite colors. Um, and I thought they were gorgeous. So I figured I would grab these as well. Uh, I don't know if you can see them very well, but trust me, they're gorgeous. Uh, and then, I know you've seen these a million and one times too, but I purchased the houses, finally found them. I plan on making a village for the table in the entryway. I did uh, scoff up 11 of them. I'm a little bit ashamed, but hey, they'll have more, right? So anyways, I found 11 of these. I'm so excited. I've been searching high and low everywhere. Finally found them. Uh, let's see. Next I got a couple of these clear pictures. Uh, one says sarcasm welcome. One says out of the office. What if he's like floating frames, I guess? Um, anyway, I won't be keeping the words. Um, I'll be using them for DIY projects, uh, probably with my Cricut. Uh, but anyway, yeah, found two of them. Figured I'd grab them. And then I found these. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one as is because I really, really like it. Maybe embellish it a little bit, but it says, Bless our home and all who enter. I thought that was really, really pretty. And then I found another one that says, Mind open 24 7. Eh, for those who know me, they might tend to disagree with this one. But I thought it was really cute. I don't know if I'll DIY them or not. Probably will, but you never know. Let's see, what else did I find? I found this really cool jar. And I thought that I could do, you know, maybe paint it and then sand it down to reveal the texture. It's got some pretty cool texture. Maybe some fairy lights, or maybe I'll just do something totally different with it. Who knows? But I thought it was cute. Figured I'd grab it. Uh, figured I would have a use for it at some point. Uh, I found, found these. I'm sure you've all seen these a million and one time, but there's two, a million and two these vases they are so cute guys I just noticed this one's a little scratched up a little dinged up but I can just repaint it be perfectly fine but I just love the lines I love the texture um, they only hold you know like a single bud or you know something smaller uh, on the smaller side uh, but anyways, I thought they were really cool. I've seen them around, finally grabbed them. There you go. Uh, let's see. And then um, for us crafters, us DIYers, can't go wrong with skewers. Use these everywhere. Can't have enough of them. So I grabbed another pack. Let's see, let's see, let's see what else we have. Um, so, I got a couple of these cutting boards. 
Now I've seen a lot of people using these with or the other pipe. You know, the, the smaller one with the, the handle. <laughs> and I've seen them using them with these wooden crates. So I figured I could probably use this, get away with this. Um, and you know, let's do this way. You know, get a little design going up here, maybe do something to cover this or embellish the handle up here a little bit. We'll see. I just thought I'd grab them. I didn't, I wasn't able to find the others that everybody seemed to have. Uh, so I figured I could make do with these. So Skylar has come to join us. So I'm gonna give you a little peek at my little girl. This is Skylar. Say hello, say hello. She is a palm clee, so she's a quarter Pomeranian and three quarters Alaskan Klee Kai. She's not going to get much bigger than this. Um, we drove very, very far to get her, um, but she's well worth it. So oops, she's tired, so maybe she'll go take a nap. But anyway, this is Skylar. <laughs> I was able to find uh, the coffee picture everybody's been getting. Uh, what's that say? Uh, because adulting is hard. Hallelujah to that one. This could not be further from the truth. But anyways, um, doubt I'll keep it like this. Maybe I'll keep it like this for a little bit. Display it over by my coffee maker. I don't have the coffee bar that everybody else has. Uh, we recently moved. Um, and we'll be moving again in a couple years to a different location completely. Uh, but for now, I can maybe hang this over by my coffee pot somewhere. And then I found this one, which of course I will reuse in a different way. A little uh, shadow box, just a stream. It's cute. Mm, not really my style, but I knew I could do something great with it. Uh, and then I found these really, really cute stickers. And I thought I'd share them with you all. Um, so they've got uh, Sweet Home, Home, Family. There's another family, a We Are Family. I thought they were gorgeous. So I figured I'd pick them up. I knew I could do something with them. I have a ton of stickers already. Um, but uh, you never know. You never know when you need them, right? So you just get them just in case. Then I found this thing, which I've seen a couple of people have, um, but uh, I wasn't able to find them until now. Obviously. So this says back in 10 minutes and this one says but first coffee and it's supposed to light up. Let's see who does it lights up. It's kind of hard to see the wording because of the background but there you go. But first coffee and then back in 10 minutes. Ah. I thought it was cute. I'll probably paint it up, maybe change it up a little bit. Uh, Skylar just ate one of the flowers. All right, I guess we didn't need them that badly. <laughs> uh, so I am constantly looking for those tabas tobacco baskets. And I don't have much luck finding them at a reasonable price. So I found this at Dollar Tree, and I figured, hello, I figured I could definitely make this work. And in fact, I did do um, a Halloween um, design in one of them already, but of course it's packed away, because as I said, we moved. So most of my life is still packed away. Um, but 
we'll get there. Uh, so I did get two. Got the white, and then I got this like gray colored one. Um, they can be spray painted, but I just left mine. May spray paint these. I don't know. It's kind of cold right now, so the chances of getting outside to do such a thing um, right about now is not very good. Uh, and then I got these burner covers. Um, and I'm sure you all can guess what I'm going to be making with it. Um, I'm going to be making a tear tray. It's a surprise. Anyway, I thought these were really cute actually. But I have the, the stove that has just the glass top. I don't have burners per se. So this wouldn't work for me. But I thought it was cute. Um, and then I got, I know that everybody's been getting those chargers in the gold and the silver, even in the wood grain, but this one I've never seen before. It's almost like, um, like a galvanized gold. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just, it was just a different color for me. So I figured I'd give it a whirl. Um, and I saw somebody use the charger with the wooden fork and spoon with a little design next to it. So I figured I would, I don't know, I could do something with this. Um, put a little design in it with the Cricut. Anyway, you didn't hear me say that because it could be one of the crafts that I record to share it with you. So just forget I said that. Ah, then I got some of these blocks, the wooden blocks, and they have this actually, oh, I'll show you. you probably have seen these and I'm showing you this for nothing, but uh, just humor me. So this is the block and it's like a little drawer that comes out. That it was adorable. I figured I could make something really great. You know, stack them up, maybe make a little trinket chest, something along those lines. We'll see. Uh, but I thought they were cute nonetheless. Uh, I found, I just found something else at Valentine's Eve. Uh, Skylar, no, we don't eat the crafts. Let's go play with your toys. Here, sorry about that. Um, I did find a couple more Valentine's Day things. I found these little hearts, you know, true love and be mine, but they're candles. They have like a vanilla smell to them. Anyway, I thought they were really cute. I like the tin, oops, I like the tins them down, reuse them, why not, right? So there's those. And then I found these tins and I thought they were so pretty and I thought immediately of my sister and my niece um, because my sister is a minister and uh, her daughter is um, very much involved in the church as well. Um, so it says, give it to God. And this one just says the prayer box. And if you look inside, he has a little scripture. Let me show you that. And then it has a little notebook and a tiny little pencil. I thought those were really cute and figured maybe I could send them off to, again, to my sister and my niece. Um, but I thought they were really, really cute. And guys, if you saw this video or if you see this video, you didn't see this part. Anyhow, I got the usual, the cute, cute fine. 
because you can never have too much of that. Um, and then I found, I found this, it's Valentine's-y, but I could probably, and I probably will use it year round. It's an eyeglass pouch. Oh, it was really cute. They had a bunch of designs, but I really liked this design. So I grabbed it. Um, and I, you know, it's got the little snap top. You know, you put your glasses in, snap it shut. I thought it was really cute. Figured I would use this. Let's see. I'm kind of all over the place. I apologize. Um, I got super glue. Who doesn't need super glue? All the time. Um, I found, so I ha I wear contacts, but I need cheaters to read. So I found some really cute ones at Dollar Tree, and I figured, why not grab them? These are just we have the little uh, rhinestone looking things over here, and then this one is just pink, but it's got little flowers on there. I kind of looks a little grandma-ish and I'm not quite a grandma yet, but could happen anytime. I'm not going to say it will, but it could. And I found this ribbon, which you all have seen and I've used it actually. But isn't that beautiful? I thought it was gorgeous. Nice lace ribbon. Again, I thought it was beautiful. Figure, why not? Because again, you can't have too much lace. You can't have too much ribbon. So I got two of those lace ones. And then I got this ribbon here which is like a burlap with the, the lace around it. I'm sure you all have seen this. Uh, but, maybe not. And then I got more ribbon. I got another color, but I think I did not because I would have found it by now. So, I got the pink and the green, and they were like a burlap, and I thought they were really cute for Easter, for spring, to make those beautiful bows that everybody loves, including myself. So, uh, and then I got a bunch of paintbrushes, and sponges because once again you can never have too many right I go through brushes like crazy because for some reason they do not like to come clean for me I don't know must be doing something wrong <laughs> probably letting them sit out too long but anyway let's see and then i got some green jute i've never seen the color jute before uh, let me know in the subscription box i mean in the comments if you've seen any other colors because i've only seen the like natural color and then this green but i'd love to pick up some other colors if they have them so again in the comments let me know if you know of any other colors um, and then I found, I, this might be from Hobby Lobby, actually, now that I think about it, but I found these cute tags, um, and I, I just thought, they're wood, this one's wood, uh, I guess they're both wooden, uh, this one has 20 pieces, and so 20 pieces and 8 pieces. I thought they were really cute, so I also got some craft sticks. There's 60 of them in it. Um, can always use those. Um, I am, I didn't see any other real big ones. Um, I think they're at Walmart, but I'm not positive. Uh, so comment below if you know where I can get 
the big, like big popsicle sticks um, for the bigger projects. Uh, let me know. Oh my goodness, it's already 25 minutes and I'm still rambling on. Uh, I apologize. I got this. I'll try to go a little quicker. I got this windmill at Walmart. I mean at Dollar Tree. Uh, it says welcome on it. Probably end up taking it apart, but we'll see. Could keep it whole. Who knows? Um, that's pretty much it for the crafty things. Um, got these at Walmart. Uh, 15 pack. We're like eight bucks. I figured why not. Um, and then I got more sponges, but these have the really tiny ones in it. And I think I'll use the tiny ones more than anything. So, um, yeah, pick those up. Uh, okay, so I found everybody has been getting these calendars. I have a few calendars, but again, they're in storage. Um, but I found this one and I thought it was really pretty. God's Promises for 2021. And it has a bunch of beautiful, beautiful quotes from the Bible in here. I thought they were beautiful. The pictures are beautiful. And I'm sure I can make some beautiful things with this. Um, I got some quote sheets. Got a couple of packages of those. Um, again, have some of these. But again, anybody guess where they are? Storage. Right. Anyway. Um, so, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Tammy. And I have an addiction to candles and smelly things. Okay, I said it out loud. I let it go. Let the universe do what it will with it. I found these, they're Sure Sense little gels. And I figured I would try them for my bathrooms. Uh, one is fresh linen and one just says Hawaiian. Um, so they're really pretty too. I just, I don't know, I kind of think they're really pretty. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm gonna try them. I'll let you know how they, how they smell. Um, I would say they probably won't work very well in a, you know, big area, but a bathroom might be okay. Um, and then I found Oh my God, you guys are going to love this. I found these LEDs. They're little tea lights, but they've got roses on them. How cute are they? I can't even, I can't even. I just can't. So I got white and I got purple. And I got Aren't they gorgeous? I thought they were beautiful. Let me know in the comments if you've seen these before and if you've seen them in any other colors. Again, I have the pink, the purple, and the white. Let me know if you've seen them in any other colors. Please, I beg you. And then I found these candles. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the colors. Oh, so, so pretty. So this one here is Candied Violets. Candied Violets. Let's see. Oh, that smells so good. I think we're to something with these ice cream sprinkles the blue if you hear any banging going on they're doing some work up in the attic i apologize not much i can do about it but anyway 
back to the ice cream sprinkles. That's a pretty good smell as well. Uh, let's see. Mango smoothie. This is probably going to be my favorite one. Mango smoothie. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. And then coconut, coconut macaron. And that is the green one. Oh, those are heaven. All four of them. I love them all. I probably am going to go back and get some more so they don't sell out on me. Just for that purpose. Anyway, then I found these really pretty. I'm guessing they're for, this one anyways, is for like a Valentine's because it's got a to and from here. But I found this pretty candle. It's got a really pretty packaging on it as well. Um, and it is, uh, pardon me while I put my cheaters on. <laughs> so this one is Coconut Sunset. And it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. And then this one is Sun Drenched Beach. And that smells heavenly as well. And then boardwalk driftwood. Mm. So good. So good, so good, so good. And then I found these I've had for a while. And I hadn't seen anybody show them until just recently. And then I thought, Tammy. Why didn't you do this video sooner? I've been, honestly, I've been chicken. <laughs> but here we are. And, you know, we're 32 minutes in. So sorry, I'm trying to go faster. Um, this one is Relax. And it is Serenity Spa. And how beautiful is this candle? Look at it. Look at the line. The design on the these are definitely savers once you use them and this one is called magnolia moss there's the name of it right there if it'll focus it may not but anyway green and then the pink is lava type and it's pink and then there's a white one that's called sun-dried linen look at they're so pretty so i did get all four of them I thought they were so beautiful and you can definitely reuse these containers you can even paint over them I well yeah, I don't know anybody why anybody would um, but it's an option right so and then I saw they don't match but they kind of look similar anyways found these really cool candles. Now they're not in any container. It's just the candle itself. But I thought they were really cool. So this one's kind of like a purple or a gray and then the white. And then they had the pink and the blue. So I thought they were really cute. Figured, why not so beautiful. Love having the candles on during the day, even at night when you're just sitting there watching TV. Love it. And last for the candles, I found this candle making set with fresh linen, magnolia, 
and Coastal Breeze. Now they had others um, at a different store, but the one that I went to and found this one, they only had this one. And I figured I'd try it before I go and get more, but how cute is that? Make your own candles? Yes, please. Anyway, um, just a few more things. Well, a few more. Yeah, a few more things. So, 4th of July, they have a couple of things that are out, and I grabbed them because I just didn't want to miss out on them. So, how cute is this? In God we trust. How beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And then I got some base filler. Foam scatter. Whatever you want to call it. Figured those would work very well in some kind of um, wreath or something. Anyway, so I got these. They are envelope. Uh, files, store important paperwork in. Um, they had tons of colors, but I did the pink and purple. You'll see a theme with that. Um, kind of like my pinks and purples. Anyway, um, and then I will go on to the beauty stuff, and then that's it. I promise. So hopefully, not too too long. Um, I got these individually packaged tissues, two ply tissues, really, really cute. And you know, you need these glove box, your purse, if you have children for their backpacks. Go. Uh, I found this really pretty trinket box too. How cute is this guys? It looks like, it says a trinket box. How pretty. I can't, oh, I can't open it. So, take these off. How beautiful is that? I love it. So pretty. And yeah, just a trinket box. But so, so pretty. foundation brush you know, spread your foundation so you're not getting it all over your hands uh, like I do all the time what are you gonna do um, then I found how cute are these they're nail clips clippers into nail clippers how cute I thought they were adorable I had to have them I don't know why they had to have it. And then I found just a couple. I don't really use their makeup, but I figured everybody, not everybody, but a lot of you guys out there, um, use it and have used them in your videos, shown them in your videos, so I figured I would try them. Um, so there's a highlighter from LA Colors. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to let you know how those work out. And then um, I found some LA Colors Plump Gloss. So it's supposed to plump your lips out a little bit. We'll see. I got this in, uh, what color was this? Oh my good grief. Careless. So I thought it was really pretty. It's kind of like a lighter pink because I don't really wear, like I said, I don't wear a ton of makeup in general, um, unless I'm going out somewhere. So I figured I would try it. If you listen close, you can hear Hunter. He's kind of meowing. He likes to go into my son's room. Uh, my son doesn't always like him in there though. But so this is just a brush, just a, a brush for maybe your foundation, your powdered foundation, or if you use, um, some kind of a toner or something along those lines. And I got cosmetic wedges, um, multi-purpose, use them for makeup, use them for bake. There you 
go. Um, and then we're down to the last couple of items. So that's Skylar torturing Hunter. Skylar, stop. Sorry about that. Um, so this is a pink sugar lip serum. I've heard good things about this. Figured I'd give it a whirl. We'll see. Um, and then this one is um, a face mask. It's a gel face mask uh, with an applicator. It says 15 minute, ugh, 15 minute facial therapy. So eh, I figured I'd try it again. Sometimes my skin can be sensitive, so we'll have to, I'll have to see. I'll try it. I'll give it a whirl. Let's see. So this one is a sleeping mask. Um, didn't realize that when I grabbed it, but that's okay. Uh, overnight uh, revitalizing gel mask for all skin types. So hopefully this does not irritate my skin too much, but for all skin types, so hopefully, right? Hopefully it's okay. And then this one is just a moisturizer. It has vitamin A and omega. So it's supposed to hydrate, so we'll see. Again, I don't use their products much, so um, I'm trying them <laughs> for your benefit as well as mine. And the last thing I'm super excited that I was able to find are the body yogurts. Yeah, y'all. So exciting. So this one is, and I need to put these on again. This one is watermelon and agave. And of course they're covered. So I'm probably gonna have to get back to you on the smell cause like who can ever get into these things? So, oh. hmm. it smells pretty good. Not too bad. This one is coconut pineapple. And then this one is pomegranate and yuzu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, Yuzu. Probably should have showed you this one too. Pineapple. And then I'll show you the watermelon. Okay. And then the last one is mango and tangerine, which I'm probably going to absolutely love. But how gorgeous are these? And, and I, I don't know, all the colors and they're just so colorful, so pretty. I hope they work as well as they look. Um, so anyway, that's it. If you could see my living room floor right now, you would laugh. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you were able to stick it out with me. Um, if you could did enjoy this video uh, if you could give it a big thumbs up um, if you could subscribe and hit the bell because I will be doing lots of crafting um, not so many hauls just lots of crafting um, so uh, yeah and if you could share it with your friends I really really appreciate it thank you so much see you soon bye